안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, my name is Nami. I actually forgot to film an intro for this video, so let's just jump into how I tie my perfect space buns that fall into beautiful heatless waves. Lego. My trusty wooden brush that helps distribute oils. You do want to brush your hair first. Make sure that there are no tangles and always brush from the bottom up so that you untangle the tangles little by little instead of starting from the top and tangling it all and then ripping through it. You should always start at the bottom and slowly detangle little by little. And if your hair does get caught somewhere, just pull the brush off instead of pulling it through and slowly detangle that area before fully brushing through. Normally, if I do a half and half hairstyle, I would split straight down the middle. But if I do this and bring my space buns down, there's going to be a big split or a big opening when my hair is down. Especially if the waves are symmetrical to each other, there's going to be just like a big gap there. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to create a zigzag design at the back. I'm going to tie off one side and bring everything from my left side up to 45 degrees of my face. And I'm going to make sure I really have it from the root. That way there's not going to be any weird lumps in my hair. The key to making your space buns lay or fall the right way after you take them down so that you can wear that heatless wave style for another while is the direction of twist. So you want to make sure that they're symmetrical. But I find that if you want your hair to wave away from your face, you actually need to do the opposite because you're going up. You need to twist your hair towards your face. So you twist it towards like this instead of away from your face. And that will make it so that the towards your face when it's upright falls away from your face when it's down. Does that make sense? If away from your face and towards your face is confusing, just imagine that you're bringing all the hair underneath itself over and over and it just twists into itself like this and just keep twisting it in the same direction until you run out of hair. Hold this piece of hair about a centimeter from the end of the hair piece down onto your head of hair. Take your hair tie, use your thumb looped into the loop of hair tie and place it down flat onto that piece of hair. Tie off the piece quite tightly. Repeat on this side. So I'm going to do the same thing, but what a lot of people get confused with is that when you twist, they get used to the motion of their wrist, of their dominant hand, so they continue that motion. But if I continue that motion on this hand, then I'm actually going the same way that I went with this side, but it's actually going to be all one direction instead of framing my face equally and symmetrically. So instead of going this way, I'm actually going to bring all the hair again underneath and slowly twist it all the way around. You can either twist the whole length of hair and then wrap it around itself for a looser, less defined wave. But I like to actually twist a bit of it and then twist the rest as I go. I'm gonna do the same thing with my thumb. Hold it down with my thumb in the loop. Bring it through. And the cute thing about this is that the back will have this zigzag because of how we parted it. There you are. My layers are kind of coming out of my buns, but that's because I slept with this on for two days. So I just didn't have time to film this part of the video. So 
I'm going to take them down and you can see how nicely they come down when they are unraveled because of the way that we twisted the hair. I think it looks so cute even just like this. Ah, oh, so cute. So when I undo the hair, I'm just gonna lightly shake it and bring it down and kind of unfold the hair. And because we did have to lay the bun really flat to our head, you will notice that there is a line of demarcation at the top of your head. So what I usually do to get rid of this line of demarcation is I just either spray it with water or I spray it with my heat protectant spray. I find that the heat protection spray doesn't actually unravel a lot of the other texture that water might unravel, so I just just throw it on the top and I just flatten it and kind of oomph up the volume on my roots. I did hear that heat protectant has a quite amount of silicone in it, but I find that I don't really mind because I'm not using this product all the time. I just use it whenever I need to style my hair, which is only like once or twice a week. So I also find that if I use water, sometimes my hair is left too gummy because it's already over processed. And so avoiding water sometimes prevents less damage for me because then my hair doesn't go and snap everywhere. And because the back we did a zigzag pattern, you won't see like a big wide open split. The waves do come out different every time, but I always do like the effect. Especially if you do the buns symmetrically, it always falls nicely. I'm playing Maple Story right now. <laughs> I'm playing Maple Story. Maple Story just released this new game. The style is like super convenient for me because I literally only have to do my hair in the space buns. I can wear space buns for like one to three days and then I can bring them down and I can have waves for like one to two days. And before I do the space buns, I usually let my hair dry straight. So it fills up really nicely the week that I don't wash my hair because of the damage that my hair is under. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the style while it's in space bun, while it's in wave form. I always like heatless styles because it's like a win-win. It's like, like two birds with one stone. Like convenience. If you like this video, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be part of our Nacho Fam. You'll also be notified right when new videos drop and that's usually the time that I do take to reply to your comments. If you do try these hairstyles, I'll definitely make sure to tag me on Instagram. I like to see what you're up to and feature some of your pictures on my stories as well. So that's it and I'll see you next time. Bye. Today's feature comment is from Maharin. You look so young, I can't believe you have two sons. Thank you for your comment, Maharin. Please believe it, but first, I wanna apologize for filming mostly this video with a bare face. I hope it was still fun or interesting, even with a bare face. I know y'all won't mind it, but I'm turning American. Um, I'm hanging out with too many Americans right now. A, eh? that was totally unnatural. <laughs> But anyway, welcome and thank you to all our new Nacho fam. If you are still a little bit confused about what's going on on this channel, I do have a playlist with a whole bunch of good videos that will help give you a conceptualizing idea of our channel. So click right up here to see that playlist. It's called Best of Nami. It's like the most popular or like the most relevant videos to our channel's content. Thank you for deciding to be part of our cozy family. So that's it and I'll see you next time.